as we near the bottom of the hour, a tragic crash led to an Arlington man becoming a single father of three. His wife of 10 years was killed by a passing dump truck. Five years since her death, he's turned to crafting a legacy out of a cause dear to his late wife's heart. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter David Culver has the story. Inside Virginia Hospital Center, nurses and doctors rely on the latest technology to see patients both in person and virtually. How are you doing today? We check in with them. How are their blood sugars doing? How is their blood pressure? Just making sure that baby's healthy. Michelle Ottman runs patient care and says a recent flow of donations made much of this possible. It provides expecting mothers who struggle financially access to more. That effort and generosity to help new moms sparked by a tragedy that happened on this street here in Arlington five years ago. It's a day that forever changed Neil Lawson's life. You just go into survival mode. Survival mode kicked in February 24th, 2014. A passing dump truck hit 39-year-old Jennifer Lawson as she was getting the couple's youngest child into their van. Anger <laughs> could present um, and hate could present. It just didn't. It didn't come to me. Instead, Neil turned to his faith and focused on raising his three kids, but he wanted to do more. Neil launched the Jennifer Bush Lawson Foundation. They've raised hundreds of thousands at their November 5K fundraisers, donations that go here. I was very humbled. You know, I met Neil shortly after everything happened, and he said, we want to help. What can we do? Knowing the struggles Jennifer went through with each pregnancy, Neil hopes to ease financial burdens for expecting moms so they can focus on their health. He provides the ability for these patients to have something that they otherwise would not have. Out of a tragic death, a legacy that fosters new life. In Arlington, David Culver, News 4. Wow. The Jennifer Bush Lawson Foundation has raised some $700,000 in the past five years, and they're planning to donate 55000 to Virginia Hospital Center in a few weeks.